Hi all, so just a quick um, induction video on the Corporals, which is on the SATS Koga truck. Um, this is fully capable of doing the IBP and CO2 monitoring. Um, and we've got all the relevant cables and, and bits and bobs. Um, so obviously once you've turned it on um, by pressing the power button, um, I've just put it in demo mode for now, just to, just to give you an idea of how things will be displayed. In the left pocket, you've got the um, SPO2 cable, which comes in two parts. Um, make sure those are obviously attached. As soon as you put it on the patient, it will um, give you the, the, the waveform um, and the figures up the top. Um, you've also got the four lead ECG. In the unlikely event you need a 12 lead, um, we've got a black bag that will sit on the COVID ambulance at all times. Um, that's the sort of accessories and goodie bag. Um, in the ECG dots um, section, there's a 12 lead cable um, which needs to be plugged in um, into the side, into that white um, socket just there. Um, but again, unlikely that you'll need that one. Um, on the right hand side you've got the non-invasive blood pressure cuff, um, you've also got the um, CO2 um, line which comes in two parts, um, so make sure these are, are connected together, um, and the end of it um, looks like this. Um, so these are the sensors, again going black into the black bag um, you'll find one of these um, which is a disposable plastic piece and um, this connects between the um, into the vent tubing and then you'll see just on the side there are the little sockets to to plug these into let's just get those into zoom and you'll see those little in the middle the little blue bit the little triangle just make sure it's in the right position um, on the thing itself you'll be able to see the little triangle um, inside I won't open it because um, you'll need it but it's, it's quite self-explanatory again once that's all connected up and um, it will automatically come up on the screen um, on the bottom here if it doesn't come up use this scroll wheel here to to go down and select any one of the four um, and you can basically click the scroll wheel click where it's highlighted co2 and you can basically change it to whatever you whatever you want on there so if it's not selected co2 just select co2 um, and it will come up if you want to change the co2 um, to kilopascals again use the scroll wheel to select it click and well, you'll see mhg so select that one and then turn the scroll wheel and you'll see kpa um, and that will change that for you. So the arterial IVP to the transducer, so you've got a cable that's already in here, which is this bit. We've then got three different cables um, depending on the transducer. So the one that's the, the most common one um, has got this connection on the end. Um, you've also got back in the black bag um, the one with the Lakes. Um, and we've recently just purchased one for the Hillingdon Hospital, which is in a small cardboard box. And we're going to get tested and, and make sure that one's okay. So, obviously, once you've got that um, connected up, you need to do a few um, little things. Again, you need to get it onto the um, onto the main screen. So you can take away your um, SATS waveform because you've Got the figure up here so again click on that click again and scroll round to IVP um, and you'll see it will swap things around a bit but you've got you've got the entry there obviously you need to calibrate the art line um, but first what you also want to do is we can change non-invasive if it's not being used and change that to change to so P1 um, again the demo has shown that it's been calibrated but it, it hasn't yet so as soon as you do that you probably won't get a, a figure like this when you're ready to calibrate the art line 
scroll back to this and you'll see there it says calibrate so obviously open to air press calibrate and say calibration in progress and calibration successful um, and you should get a nice reading um, somewhere around there um, if not you can again recalibrate um, and also check the check the waveform so you've pretty much got everything um, set up and ready um, if there's any problems you can call um, or message the WhatsApp group that's normally set up because um, we can sort of troubleshoot over the phone. Um, obviously check the connections with any cables. So check these are all nice and tight together. Um, obviously some of them can be positional. Um, if they're broken, we can replace them. Um, and that's it. So any alarms that come up um, will obviously make you well aware. You can see the recent log of alarms by clicking this button that will come up with a list if you need to silence it for any reason whatsoever you can press and hold and it will silence it for two minutes um, if you need to if it's a non-ventilated patient you need to do a blood pressure just select that and press start you can set it to do it every 15 or 10 5 10 or 15 minutes if you want to um, and those figures will normally come up on here when it's not um, invasive blood pressure. Um, if you need to use the AED, you've got a set of DFA pads um, which are ready to go um, underneath here. You can simply pull out this cable and connect the pads to, to this red cable. Um, and then you can start using the AED functions. Connect therapy electrodes. Um, which will obviously run through it. Good compressions. Detect that your cables are connected. Um, you can do it either manually um, or you can use the, the AED function. Um, it's quite self explanatory. So have a play, have a look through it. Um, and if you, yeah, if you get any problems on route, just give us a give us a message or a call and we'll try and troubleshoot it as best we can. And to turn off the monitor, just click the power button and power off. Great, thank you.